Well, on Monday, you guys, so many of us are going to be home for President's Day. And what more authentic place to be than the home of Indiana's only U.S. president, the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. So joining us right now is Whitney Ball with the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. It's so good to see you again. It's wonderful it's to see It's so you. nice to have you. Yes. First of all, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having we us. We talk about this every year. And for so many people, though, who are perhaps not familiar, tell us what we can expect, because this is such a historic place, and there's so much to learn from and to take in. Oh, absolutely. And so it's so fun. We're located in downtown Indianapolis, yes. and it's, it's great to come and see the presidents uh, reenact that day. Um, President Harrison will be there, the first lady. You'll get to see some of his artifacts and, and things that are in each of the uh, rooms of the right. home. Right, and that is what's so cool, isn't it? Very and speaking exciting. of artifacts, you actually were seeing some pictures now, but you brought a few things for us, which I was like, oh, I don't want to touch them. I mean, because this really is a part of history. Tell Absolutely. us what we're seeing here. Yeah, so we have um, some inauguration invitations of President Harrison, um, also Theodore Roosevelt and William Henry uh, Howard Taft. Um, so really exciting. Um, Harrison actually appointed wow. both of those uh, presidents to uh, federal jobs in his administration. Um, so these invitations were uh, for their inaugurations as well. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about this up here? Absolutely. We have a wonderful centennial cane. Um, wow. This is a replica. Um, but Harrison was actually elected 100 years, inaugurated 100 years after George Washington. So this cane is all of the presidents uh, from uh, Washington to Harrison at that time. So really exciting to see that. It's funny, if you look, there's some misspellings on there. It was a, a folk art piece that was, oh, wow. that was given to us. So really exciting. And you can see the actual one in the library of the presidential site. That is so neat. So much to see, like I said, so much to take in and learn from. Uh, tell me about Project POTUS as well. Absolutely. So we're launching that on uh, President's Day. It's a wonderful way um, to engage middle school students uh, with their uh, teachers and their peers. They can submit one-minute videos of a president. Oh, nice. And we have some really great prizes, up to uh, $5,000 of prizes for that. Isn't that the best way to, to allow them to learn and that information just to kind of infiltrate into their oh, little brain? It's so exciting and it's so fun watching those videos come to life and seeing how they view different I presidents. Yeah, yeah, it's such a neat thing in history and a neat time for them as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so also, no Compact of Silence. Tell me about that Absolutely. One. So our, our new exhibit that opened in January, No Compact of Silence, Black Civil Rights Advocates in the Harrison Era. It's a really fun exhibit that's wow. open until November that you can come and view along with your tour. Um, it's open to the public uh, seven days a week. It's it's really exciting. It touches on um, another aspect yeah. of Harrison's legacy that we, we really love. Do you have a lot of school tours come in primarily? Absolutely. We yeah. love doing that, and they love coming into the home and actually seeing what it was like back in the late 1800s. I bet. Well, it's interesting because in the perspective of a kid's mind, my, my, my child's like, that wasn't too long ago for you, Mom, was it? I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But I think even as I get older, I am so much more interested in taking a lot of this. And do you see this not, not just from kids, but from adults as well? Oh, absolutely. It's just to, to take a step back and look at, you know, even we have a wood-burning stove. Like, yeah. some people haven't seen that before. It's just really exciting to, to see different aspects and learn more about our history and see it in person. Uh, there at the presidential site. Yeah, now we mentioned the no compact of silence uh, earlier. What is that like for you? to be a part of as well. Oh, it's it's one of my favorite things I've ever done in life, um, just to learn more about local and national um, black advocates in the late 1800s, uh, some of which Harrison um, uh, pointed to uh, positions like Frederick Douglass. He yeah. was uh, nom or appointed to ambassador of Haiti uh, by President Harrison. So we learn more about that and the research we've done and what we've learned about that exhibit. There's, there's over 20 different advocates to mm -hmm. learn about which is so exciting and you can take your time and look through it and spend yeah. some time getting to know more about them. There really is. Okay, details, we just come on over hours. What do we need to know about Absolutely. making a visit? Yeah, um, go to presidentbenjaminharrison.org. Um, you can find, you can plan your visit to come get a tour, come for President's Day, yeah. or any other day of the year. Yeah, really any exciting. other day of the year. Turns out plenty to see yes, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. your time. We'll put all the details again on lifestylelive.tv.